I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. You know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. You know, that's what's insane about it. War is a racket. It always has been. It is possibly the oldest, easily the most profitable, surely the most vicious. It is international in scope. It is the only one in which the profits are reckoned in dollars and the losses in lives. There are only two things we should fight for. One is the defense of our homes and the other is the Bill of Rights. War for any other reason is simply a racket. It may seem odd for me, a military man, to adopt such a comparison. Truthfulness compels me to. I spent 33 years and four months in active military service as a member of this country's most agile military force, the Marine Corps. I served in all commissioned ranks from second lieutenant to major general. In the World War, a mere handful garnered the profits of the conflict. At least 21,000 new millionaires and billionaires were made in the United States during the World War. The 